Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to F1 Manager 2023 and this, that will be the final episode. Let's see if we can't go out with a bang, shall we? Time to head to Abu Dhabi. The season draws to a close here with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. A long season has led us around the world over all this year's races to get here. The last chance to settle the season in the final round. Reprofiled in 2021 to improve overtaking, Yas Marina is a high downforce circuit where DRS is highly effective. Racing under floodlights, the track cools during the Grand Prix to help with brake and tyre wear. In the last round, Max Verstappen flew to victory. The Dutchman proving that he can be absolutely unstoppable when he's in such fine form. So then, time to get back to the action. Okay, you know the drill. I will work on practice and I will bring you back for quality. And there we go, 100% setup satisfaction on both cars. Unfortunately, not enough track, not 100% track uh, climatization. It is what it is. Off to Quali. Qualifying is coming up and the drivers will be ready and raring to go. Drivers are able to defend well during races at Abu Dhabi, preventing rivals from gaining easy positions. Setting a good grid position during qualifying is fundamental as a result. As far as Carlos Sainz is concerned, Karun, how do you think he's doing? They had an excellent performance in practice, setting a solid lap time. They must be feeling confident. But confidence doesn't necessarily mean success in Formula One. Good point, Karun. Let's get on with qualifying. And for old time's sake, I will be simulating qualifying, I think. Sure, I don't want to use any of the other ones. Yeah, I will need managing quality. Since it's the last episode of the season, might as well. Green now. It's last time we'll see these cars going around. It's speed it up until it actually starts to lap. And go. Let's see where we end up. No, nope. purple is to be expected. We're the first ones out. purple for stroll strolls actually faster is actually faster than Alonso in the middle sector but of course we've already lost the purples and we don't need to we probably don't need to set any other times this session I hope, otherwise we're going to have to go out at last minute. But I doubt that we'll, we'll need to. Come on, set your times. Oh, 
don't care what position we're in, as long as we're above 15. Okay, just keep going with the same tire. Still brand new. And once again, head out. Five, four, three, two, one. Should be green. Give me the best time you can, lads. Okay, behind only the Ferraris. Oh, Ferrari. And Verstappen. It's fine. I will be ready to go out again in case it's needed. Might as well. Okay, no improvement there for Stroll, unfortunately. Okay, that was useless sending them out. But we still managed to make U3. Okay, start with the the practice run with the used tire and then we'll we'll go out with a brand new tire. Okay, this is our used tire run done. Get a new tire and go out. Okay, tracks relatively empty. Excellent. That was not a good lap for Alonso. Definitely not a good quality for Alonso, but decent enough for Stroll. Now to head to the races. The excitement is building, there's electricity in the air, but there's no surprise in that, it's race day! Gasparina has played host to a fair few title deciding races, such as 2016 when Lewis Hamilton secured the top podium spot, only for Mercedes teammate Nico Rosberg to claim second and secure his maiden world championship. And as we approach this race, Karun, what do you think the mood is like at Aston Martin? It all feels very positive down in the garage. Everything seems in control and morale looks to be very high. The team are gelling well together. The anticipation is reaching boiling point at the Yas Marina circuit. Do you think it's time to get started? Well, the fans here at Abu Dhabi do. Indeed, let's go motor racing. What do we want to do as per... Strategy. Interesting. Let's try it. And let's try that as well. As per fuel, I am gonna well, underfuel a little bit. Actually, 
I need you to start on light base. And you under fuel as well. But you can start with normal base. And that will be our setup for this race. Let's see if it pays off. Only 58 laps stand between the drivers and the checkered flag here under the lights at the Yas Marina circuit. The composure of Fernando Alonso, really clear to see. Well, they're in P7, so not necessarily where they'd like to be. Could be a challenge, all right. Right, let's get to it then. Let's go. Hold on tight. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Say the words, Crafty. And it lights out, and away we go. Okay, stroll up in P3 already. Alonso also gaining some positions. Didn't keep it, unfortunately. Okay, Alonso is back in P6. Excellent. Alcon's dropping out of the RS range, which is good for me. Unfortunately, so is Stroll. It would be nice to end this one with the podium, but it's going to be hard fought. Yeah, Stroll is outside the RS, it's going to be hard defending against Sainz. RS is enabled. So, we might. Alonso might uh, overtake Ocon, which will be. That was nasty, and that was excellent for me. And here we've got a yellow flag. Thank fuck it didn't hit me. Yeah, Stroll defending against signs is a bit difficult. But we got the DRS back. And Alonso narrowed the gap, though. Four seconds behind signs is not great. It's also not great to be fighting so tightly with Gasly. This Ocon's in P20. That is good. Doesn't pose a threat. Fucking hell, Stroll, seriously? That was not good. Come on, Lance. Get your ass back up into position. And that was a massive hit to the tire life. It can serve tires a little bit, otherwise it won't be won't make that strategy.
Okay, just a couple more laps like that. A virtual safety car. Not entirely sure what happened, but it seems like it was Logan Sargent. Who crashed? What did Logan Sargent crash into? Crashed into a house. That is fucking nasty. Oh shit, that house is on fire. Uh, a house on fire on Abu Dhabi. Where have I seen this before? Do I want to pit now? It might be advantageous. Let's let's pit now since we since it's a safety car. But Alonso is pitting first. Can you put next lap? And a bit of charging. Okay, copy. Fortunately, that lost us a couple of positions. Lost us a lot of positions. Not great. Not fucking great at all. Two pit stop issues in a row, amazing. Okay, safety car ending. Okay, deploy all we have. And let's go motor racing. Sergeant still has a penalty to serve. There he goes. Oh, oh no, that, that's him locking up, not serving the penalty. Okay, let's get back up into position. Need both cars in the points, boys, come on. Okay, almost there. Okay, Lonzo's back in the points, now he's not. Come on, let's take Zhao. Stop fighting each other and start overtaking Zhao. There we go. I want both cars in the points, so stroll, overtake, overtake Russell. Do not, for the love of God, crash into each other, you bastards. Okay, both in the points at least.
and, and Magnuson with the fastest lap. Impressive. Okay, we're gonna should be pitting soon. Okay, bit options. Let's delay one. Because we still have more life in the tires than we expected. Okay, copy, box. Okay, and that better be the fastest fucking pit stop in your entire fucking lives. Don't like the fact that the Alpines are ahead of me, but they haven't pitted yet either, so that's fine. Okay, Alonso's coming in. Why has Alonso not gone in? Well, he was gonna pit when I said pit this lap. Of, uh, I meant now, not. Uh, Whenever you come back. Okay, anyways, gonna put now. Do it fast. Smooth is fast. Excellent. Now to get ready to to pit stroll. Okay, deploy ERS. Give me all you can. Okay, you are going to pitch for inters, uh, for the softs rather, on the next lap. And start going aggressive. And let's see where that leaves us. A couple of cars haven't pitted yet. But it may have fucked the pit strategy at least uh, a little bit. Let's see if we can recover and put both cars into, up, into the points again. It might not be in the cards, unfortunately. Well, I said that, and then both cars go back in the points as, uh, as Ocon pits. So, uh, hurry for me, I guess. Okay, just don't blow the engine until the end of the race. There's a yellow flag now. Okay, my spins. And we overtake. Excellent. Just try not to blow the car up until the end of the of the race. Uh, and it will be fine. Magnuson fucks up again. Okay, so it'll be six. Can Alonso overtake Gasly? Unfortunately not. P6 and P8 is our position. We can see Ferrari celebrating now. They know that the constructors' title is theirs. 
and they certainly had to work hard for it, with no way to tell who was going to take the title. Out and onto the podium steps Charles Leclerc, the driver from Monaco, really deserving of that top three spot. Taking their eighth win of the season, there's just no stopping them. Hard to believe that's another one over. The season's ended, the party's just beginning, here in Abu Dhabi. The Ferrari fans must be happy. But uh, who was World Driver Champion? I didn't notice on uh, the leaderboards before. Though Karun, with the garages full of activity, what's the mood like down at Aston Martin now? It's not been the greatest weekend. Both drivers need to step up and show what they can do. And the team have to be there to support them. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him next and time. That then concludes our time here in Abu Dhabi. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, Verstappen is World Drivers Champion. Ferrari is Constructors Champion. Got it. Back to the factory we go. I don't care if parts spat. Uh, if parts uh, didn't pass development, we're. Uh, blew us out of the water this season. Sure. Wh why the fuck is Otmar uh, sending me an email? Okay. Keep the pet crew. Uh, however it is. Doesn't really matter, just want to get to the... Damn it. Alonso is starting to get close to retirement. I want to see the um, end of season thing. What is the end of season thing? There we go. Okay, seventh uh, in DHL fastest pit stops. And low morale, high put high confidence. Okay, eighth. In the Drivers' Championship, 7th in the Drivers' Championship, 4th in the Constructors. Our team rating, uh, is that does that mean our team rating is going up? up? Uh, final position, 4th, when our target was 3rd. Uh, principal rating crash. Our principal rating went from 287 to 237. Uh, not great. But our team rating went up, went up. Board confidence is high. Okay, are there any other events on the calendar? Yes, preseason preparation, but we will not. We will not be competing on the next season. That will be it for F1 Manager 23. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I have been Pope. Please remember to like, comment, and indeed subscribe. And I will see you all next time.